Okay, yours truly um, has been a little bit lazy in the 2018 uh, to catch up with the mainstream news on uh, many different topics that we talk about on this channel. Now, um, this topic has been talked about a lot. Um, in my workplace, uh, half of the place is actually deeply involved uh, in uh, cryptos. Uh, fair enough. Uh, it sounds very good. Um, this is the first video I'm going to actually just make off the cuff. Um, I saw this title on the business. The tax man is coming after cryptocurrency cheats. Now, you can all imagine what that's about. I have not even watched it. It's a 4 minute 46 second video. Uh, that I haven't watched, which is why I'm making this video off the cuff. We're just going to play it after I have my little thought on cryptocurrencies and I'm not going to say anything that you haven't heard before. So uh, don't shoot the messenger. Uh, I don't even know what the current price is. Uh, today's 11th of February 2018. So uh, Bitcoin price. All right, let, let's bring it up. This is how unprepared purposefully I am for this um, video presentation. Um, all right, well, it's coming up. All right, now if we start from the premise that uh, any sort of investment is really gambling, I mean, the stock market has been called a casino for a long time. If stock market's a casino, what is a crypto market? Uh, all right, this is one day chart. So this is US dollars, Bitcoin is 8,100. All right, let's see, one week, that's kind of, oh yeah, it's sort of recovering, but it's not in the uptrend. One month is a clear downtrend. Three months, well, it, it was an uptrend. Uh, anyone can see that there's a, a trading pattern here that, uh, that or trading channel, but the trend has clearly been down from... Uh, 16th of December but you know I'm not being genius by telling you this because you could have just looked it up coindesk.com I like this chart uh, I'm not uh, I haven't got any cryptos I I believe uh, this is a big one uh, your host here believes that cryptos will end up being zero yes zero um, if Bitcoin pulls back to a thousand dollars it's thousand dollars too many uh, because there's nothing sitting behind it uh, now, oh yeah, there's technology, there's blockchain and all that. Don't listen to me. Go and watch um, uh, Chris Duane with uh, his channel. is called uh, Truth Never Told. Uh, I, I know he sells uh, silver, so he's a little bit biased. But, I mean, he's made so many good points that I would just not even come close to it. So, um, uh, But then again, you can listen to someone else who will make very good points why um, you know Bitcoin will end up at $100,000 or... 100 million dollars of Bitcoin uh, so but this is just my opinion <laughs> uh, I, I hope you uh, don't get the you know yeah, don't get upset with that but I'm sure many of you will it'll probably be the first video that has the most uh, thumbs down so let's see what this uh, this is obviously one of the those problems the tax man is coming after cryptocurrency cheats uh, this is the end game or the beginning of the end game because the government will want to put the hand in uh, and if people can't pay up, then the confidence is going to be lost. And the next thing you know, maybe there's uh, some sort of attack and they accuse some sort of Muslim terrorists. Uh, and next thing you know, oh, he was funded using cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. And now, you know, if the government couldn't actually get money out of it, they'll just ban it and they'll come up with their own. Uh, but it'll be the central banks. So it'll be the absolute total money when the system collapses by 2020 according to my research so let's see this like i said i haven't watched it let's see what they say cryptocurrency bitcoin has taken investors on a wild ride worth just two u.s dollars in 2010 a single bitcoin hit nineteen thousand dollars last year Cryptocurrency Bitcoin has taken investors on a wild ride. Worth just two US dollars in 2010, a single Bitcoin hit $19,000 last year. Today, it's fallen to around 11000 Regulators are playing catch-up, trying to decide if digital coins and currencies 
or taxable assets. The tax office has its views, but they're yet to be tested in the courts. Tax authorities are warning speculators may face higher than expected tax bills as the ATO looks for telltale signs of crypto tax dodgers living beyond their means. Here's finance correspondent Philip Lasker. Entrepreneurs, IT spe- These are the cryptocurrency true believers. Investors, entrepreneurs, IT specialists meeting regularly, discussing something seen as much more than a speculator's plaything. I believe in humanity 2.0, and I think um, uh, elements of freedom and um, self-determination can be enabled by these kinds of technologies. Us older gentlemen on this particular little session here, we think it's mad, but it's actually, this is just the normal pace now of innovation and blockchains allow this uh, iteration of, of innovation to accelerate it's the future it's it's the ethical way that the world should be trading and holding each other accountable but ethics and accountability aren't central according to a new study on the motivation of cryptocurrency speculators a lot of uh, people seem to have this fear of missing out so for example right they see that their neighbor has already invested Many also have a shared hostility towards the household names we're forced to deal with. If you have a job at a company, they will pay your salary into the bank and the bank charges you a fee so you can take your own money that you've earned out. And if you leave your money there, they will lend that money four times over to everybody that's getting mortgages and make a mint on it. But you will only make, I don't know, 1% a year. So that's, they, they just don't play a fair game. Once the preserve of criminals, cryptocurrencies have become the vehicle of choice for speculators and dissidents. The whole thing about this crypto revolution is everybody is getting their share, not just the big guys. The government also wants its share. The tax office says cryptocurrencies are not currencies, but assets subject to capital gains tax. I don't think we have a definitive answer yet. The ATO will have some views, but that's not... A definitive answer in the sense of a judicial decision. Martina Lindlooker says many investors think their profits are tax-free. It seems that individuals um, have potentially not looked into the situation and may not be aware about potential tax consequences. The courts may see cryptocurrency investors as speculators unless they can prove otherwise which means the cryptocurrencies they get from machines like this and the gains they make on investing in those currencies may be taxed fully as income rather than capital gains. So they'll miss out on the tax discount after holding the currencies for a year. Bob Deutsch reckons at least 90% of cryptocurrency investors are speculators even if they've held the assets for more than a year. It's different to shares. With shares, you hold for the long term, but during the course of that holding, you will receive often, not always, but most often, you will receive a dividend. So there is another purpose to the holding of the shares. It's a little bit more difficult to see that in the context of a cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is generally held for speculative purposes. Professor Deutsch also has a warning for super fund investors who must keep in mind that the fund's sole purpose is to provide retirement benefits for its members. That often translates into the idea that a highly speculative investment is not appropriate for a superannuation fund. The tax office says be sure to keep good records of your intentions, cryptocurrency transactions and who received the payments, which Adriana does. I grew up in Brazil. It's a country where economical instability is the norm. Is the norm. So having the option of using a currency that it's not affected by the government is a good thing. Too much of a good thing, it seems, for governments to remain on the sidelines. All right. Well, um, if you do care what I think about uh, Bitcoin I and the cryptocurrencies, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I do encourage you to look up um, a tulip bubble and also a South Sea company bubble. Um, and if your response to the you know researching and looking into this or if you already know about these famous bubbles in the history of the humanity 
um, you are not allowed to respond with yes but this is different because this is one of those last famous words uh, where uh, and the most expensive words in uh, most, uh, English language uh, it's different this time or this is different uh, it isn't look at the chart compare it uh, it's um, bubble I'm sorry but uh, I do hope for the subscribers and my friends and colleagues who hold uh, cryptocurrencies and uh, that they will be able to pull out before the confidence is lost and because the gates will be very narrow and everybody will want again want to get out uh, but there's not going to be a beat and not to mention that the infra infrastructure uh, to facilitate this exodus uh, even of five or ten percent of people trying to cash in uh, is infrastructure is just not going to be able to cope the exchange is already um, shut down when uh, only a few people want to uh, cash in and actually uh, convert their money into you know Australian dollars or in the currencies that are recognized by the tax departments of the world uh, which I obviously don't agree with and you know so um, philosophically the Bitcoin and the crypto is is right uh, supposedly it's decentralized but the government is just not going to allow it because it's a competition to government's uh, currency and uh, government issued or central bank issued currency and they just can't allow that in the meantime they're going to try and collect some tax and see how they go but eventually I'm sorry it's going to zero.